Hi, let's talk about one point perspective. Now imagine if this was your paper. Okay, so let's draw our paper and just imagine if this was our sheet of sketchbook paper. You guys are going to be doing this drawing in your sketchbook. So let's see, can we see that? That's great. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're going to pick your horizon line. So very lightly, I would say, you know, choose where you want that horizon line to be, just very lightly. Remember, draw it light till you get it right. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a spot close to the middle for your vanishing point. Now remember, horizon line and the vanishing point those always go together. Okay, those always go together. Then we're going to draw our rectangle and you can use your ruler for this one, please. When we're using when we're doing our final drawing please always use a ruler. You're going to take that vanishing point, you're gonna take the corner of the back wall. This rectangle that you just drew becomes your back wall, your vanishing point. Now I don't have to draw a line all the way up to here, but look, that becomes the floor. Then I can go over to this side, line up the vanishing point to the corner of the room and draw my line. And I can do the same thing with the ceiling. So vanishing point to the corner, all the way off your page. Now it really doesn't make any difference if the corners here touch the corners of our page. That doesn't make any difference. Now you can see here's our back wall. Now what happens if I draw a line straight down? Now you want it to be nice and vertical, okay? And then this is gonna be my door. So the top of the door will line up to the vanishing point. I can draw the top of the door and then my vertical line straight down. Now I can start to erase that horizon line as I see it. Now watch what happens. I have my door right here. Then if I draw another horizontal line, and erase that line, now it becomes a hallway. Whoa, pretty cool. I can do that on this side too but this time I wanna make a separate room. So I can draw a line from the ceiling to the floor. How wide do I wanna make my separate room, my hallway? Oh, let's do that. And then we wanna go back into space. So the top of this line and the bottom of this line, we're gonna draw those horizontal lines. Now, remember, parallel, to the page and the horizon line. And erase that. Now I have a whole other hallway where I can add some more room. Pretty cool. Say I want a bed. Maybe over here, I want it to touch the floor. The bed can come straight out go back into space. Then this corner right here is going to line up with the vanishing point. This corner of the bed, vanishing point against the wall. This corner to see where the end of the bed is and then connect those lines. You're going to overlap. Let me erase that because we can't see through a bed, right? Pull that straight down and then 
I would line up this corner to the vanishing point. And now we have what looks like, well, like a rectangle, like a box, right? But we're gonna add some things to it. You can start to add, you know, your blankets. You can actually make it a little bit taller off the ground if you wanted to add like, you know, feet. Just by doing that, the pillows will still line up with that vanishing point as well. Some comfy pillows. Maybe there's um, a window. We'll start that at the horizon line. Straight up, straight up. And then the top meets at the vanishing point. Here's that window or a mirror or whatever you want. So you can see no matter what, the top, the diagonal lines meet at that vanishing point. Otherwise, the lines are vertical or horizontal, okay? That 90 degrees. Now, what's next? We can have a table. So we could have a table coming out or a couch. So I like to start with the side that you can see. We'll pull that down. That's sort of the side of the couch, right? Then the corners line up with that vanishing point. Come straight out parallel, parallel to the horizon line. Come down, that line will line up. It'll come out parallel, then that will line up to the vanishing point. And that one will line up to the vanishing point. Make a little comfy chair. Or sort of a couch area, right? I could even have a loft. So how I could do that was I'll draw a line from the vanishing point, and that maybe that goes right off the page. Then a vertical line to the ceiling. Well, this is making like another room. So then I'm gonna draw a horizontal line this way, and a horizontal line this way. And that becomes sort of a step up into this room and I could have some artwork on the walls or possibly a window, you know. Doo -doo -doo -doo. May, I might have a table. You know, up into this loft area. Now because this is sort of like the back wall, I won't have a lot to line up to that vanishing point, but you can see everything that's on a diagonal will line up with that vanishing point. This back wall, you can draw anything just flat and flush. So if you have, you know, a bookcase, some books, things on the bookcase, make it three-dimensional, something like that. But anything on that back wall, you just draw flat, okay? Um, let's see, a rug or floor. So the rug will line up to that vanishing point, the side of the rug. And the horizontal line. And the other side of that rug, lining up with the vanishing point. And then finally, right there, and you can add in some fringe on the rug. Now, way back here, these little fringes are gonna be a lot smaller because they're farther away, but up close, they're a lot longer. And then you can clean it up. Now remember to add value and shading. Where would there be a shadow? There'd be a shadow under the bed. There might be a shadow on the wall you know, buy a bookcase, use those blending tools, use the pencil, 
use color. You can use watercolor. You can use chalk pastel. You can things like that as long as everything lines up to that vanishing point. And you have the rules of one point perspective where you have a horizon line, a vanishing point, and you have most of the things on your list. I would say choose about 10 things um, and make sure you have 10 things in your room. Decorate it, design it. I'm looking for correct one point perspective, creativity, and overall neatness. Please let me know if you have any questions and yay. Have a great day, guys.